All right, this is going to further connect us to what we saw in Isaiah, which is really a further telling of Revelation 19, verse 17, which is described as the Battle of Armageddon. And we see that Revelation describes these birds, these fowls of heaven being gathered together to the supper of that great God. And then once again, we're talking about the great seal of the Ephraimites. And then, of course, everybody else knows that follows my work how to understand this great. It's associated with the fallen prince of this world. He's the great God of this world, which is no accident while we're talking about the great seal. So Revelation 19 verse 17 describes this event about to take place. This great supper, which is being called for this great sacrifice. That great sacrifice is what we're about to go through. It's the second cup. Isaiah describes the details of what birds are there, the whole nine. So if you look through chapter 34, you'll obviously see it. And some of you and most of you already know it through my work. I just want you to see that because there's something that you guys have not seen yet connected. Before we move further, let's just look at the verse. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, all the fowls, come and gather yourselves. Once again, gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God. Now remember we see here in Isaiah, also be gathered everyone with her mate. This is taking place at the day of the Lord Armageddon. This is taking place at the time of Armageddon also. And then I want you to see that Hosea in ancient times is declaring that that's exactly how it's going to happen. Set the trumpet to the mouth. He shall come as an eagle against the house of the Lord. Now, if you guys remember how I talked about that in my other videos, I told you that that great supper in that chapter in 34 of Isaiah was following the second cup event that's going to take place as what everybody calls this next false flag. Primary location is going to be off the coast of New York City, but there will be other places that go down, just like the first cup, 911, had multiple locations that went down also. Same with the second cup. The only difference with the second cup is it's going to be much, much worse. It's aimed at reducing the global population, not a geographic singular location, but the global population. This is what's going to happen here. Now we're going to time up the words of Jesus Christ. Okay, and we can interassociate from this point all these things together. We're going to use Matthew, Matthew 24, verses 27 through 28. It's going to be a complete and total match for Hosea 13, 15, Revelation 9, 17. This is what we find in Matthew. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth, even unto the west, so also, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Now that's Christ's own words, talking about that it's these eagles that are going to be gathered together. At this carcass, once again, the benefit of this sacrifice, they're going to benefit in the golden age of the destruction of the carcass, not only really of us, but of the carcass of Christianity that we read about being that lion. Remember that lion that was destroyed in Judges by Samson that he rent it with his bare hands and then those bees come out with that honey, okay? So this is the benefit, this is the golden age of the destruction of this carcass where these eagles are going to be gathered together. Well, why it's being singular eagles by Christ as he clarifies it is because he knows these Ephraimites, these adopted mystery religion children who have infiltrated into Israel in the early past are the ones that are mainly responsible for pushing us together into this new world order throughout these ages. And we've got further ways to prove it because we're going to tighten and line up with what we see here in verse 27 further with some scriptures from Hosea and further back to Genesis that are going to leave no doubts. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. I'll be back.